course. What about treasure hunting? Have I got the thing for you? It's called geocaching, and we're talking about a geocaching extravaganza all morning long. We'll come bring that up to you in just a few minutes. We, we don't need GPS to tell us that so far. It looks really good outside. I know. Good data geocache. It's a... Tammy knew this morning it's a geocaching extravaganza. If you want to get outside, get some exercise, and get involved with a high-tech treasure hunt, we have just the thing for you. Actually, Jennifer Reyes has just the thing for you. She's at the Schlitz Audubon Center with more this morning. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning to be out there. Yeah, it's a very good morning to be out here. And actually, I was just told that this, if you ever wanted to come to the Nature Center and actually visit and walk around, this would be the day to do it. It's a cash fest. And we're not talking about cash that you would take to the mall and go shopping. This is a very big um, hobby, if you, I guess, if you could say. And basically, what you're looking for is a little box like this. Um, in, in this particular event, there will be 30 of these hidden all throughout the Schlitz Audubon Nature Center. And one of the persons uh, responsible for this event is Jim. Jim Hyatt. Jim, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, now, we were saying uh, this is what people are looking for, yeah. and uh, if you want to explain to us a little bit as to what exactly geocaching is. Okay. Well, we do call it a high-tech treasure hunt, and basically what you're using is a GPS unit, and it gives you your coordinates, your latitude and your longitude, and today what people are going to do, they're going to be getting kind of like a passport book with 30 different sets of coordinates. And at each set of coordinates is a cash box. And inside the cash box, there's a little stamp pad and a stamp. And you stamp your passport booklet. And, you know, if you get one, hey, that's fine. If you get all 30, congratulations. Bring it back to us, and we'll give you a uh, free geocoin as a reward. But it, uh, it is. It's, people love this hobby. It's a great way for families to get outside. Um, People love it because it combines nature and electronics, as you can tell with the GPS unit. And it is. It's just something the whole family can do. And I was reading, um, I was telling you that I did a Google search this morning, and I came up with like 7 million yes. sites. And uh, there are like over 400,000 uh, geocaches all throughout the world. And uh, you're looking at video from, I think we did a, an event similar to this mm -hmm. one last yep. year. And uh, like you said, families get involved, and, and they're all over the world. They're not just, you know, today it's just here at the Nature Center. Right. But. Oh, yeah. I mean, anybody can put out a cash box. They just ask that you look after it. And just if people, you know, looking at us at home, if you go on, do a search, or if you go on to geocaching.com, you'll find there's caches within your neighborhood that you probably never even knew existed. I mean, it, they're all over the place. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, Jim. And um, by the way, there are some great prizes, and we're going to be talking about those at um, 8.30. But uh, this event, this uh, Cash Fest, starts at 9 o'clock, registration's at 9. And also, if you don't have a GPS, one of these cool systems, um, the Nature Center has a limited number, so you want to get here a little bit early so you get your hands on one of these to help you find um, these little treasure hunts. So for now, reporting live at the Schlitz Audubon Nature Center, I'm Jennifer Reyes. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Good stuff out there. Thank you, Jay Ray. Yes. It is 8:10 on this Saturday morning. Hope you're having a good one.